you need 2 cups of plain flour, 1 teaspoon of yeast, you can take the instant yeast and 1 teaspoon of sugar. You have to get half a cup of lukewarm water. This is purely to make your yeast. If you weigh the flour using the cup, take the same cup and measure half a cup of lukewarm water. Quarter teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of oil. In order to make the yeast, you need to put the one teaspoon of yeast and one teaspoon of sugar along with the half a cup of lukewarm water. Mix it well. Use the air tightened lid and leave it for 10 minutes until it gets risen. After 10 minutes of the time, I'm checking my yeast and it's risen. You can see the bubbles like this. Now it's 100% ready. You can put this one in the flour. Add quarter teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of oil. Now you have to mix this well. First of all, you can mix it using a spoon or you can wash your hands well and then you can do it using the hand. You can see you need more water. Now you can add one tablespoon at a time. Still some flour left. Add another tablespoon of water. To mix the last bit of flour left over, you need another tablespoon of water. Do not add more water, otherwise your dough will be sticky. When the dough is coming to a one bowl, you can stop adding water. Now you can put this one on flat surface and we need to start kneading. Now I have transferred the dough onto this plastic lid which I use since it's very comfortable. I'm going to knead now for about 10 minutes. I prefer to use this type of simple plastic lid. The reason I can actually rotate this lid as I want easily. Now you can see dough is like this. When you try to expand, there is a more elasticity. So this is the time you can stop doing the kneading. You can make a bowl and now transfer onto another container. When you put it in the container, you must make sure you put some oil. I have added some oil. You can add some oil on top as well. Now you can close the lid and leave it until the dough gets double sized. Make sure you use the air tighten lid. Usually it takes 20 to 30 minutes, depend on the weather. If it's hot weather, then it takes less time. If it's cold, then need more time. After 30 minutes of the time, dough looks like this. Now you can take off the air using the hand, then you are 
pizza base is ready. Afterward, you can add any topping as you wish.